Good morning, everyone. I do think we're ready to begin now. Um, welcome. My name is Susan Cote, and I'm the current president of the Williston Richmond Rotary Club. I'm happy to welcome you to this gathering today. Can everyone hear me all right? Yes. Yeah. I'll just hold this better. Okay. I want to thank Eric Wells and the town of Williston for helping us put on this Veterans Day event, and all of you for coming. How lucky are we? How lucky are we to be able to choose to be here on this cold morning? How lucky are we to be able to choose to be here in this small park this morning to honor our veterans past and present? We are fortunate to enjoy the freedom of assembly and our freedom of speech, to enjoy the relative safety of our community and our country. For this great fortune, we must thank our veterans, those who have served in the past and those who continue to serve today. O oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved and mercy more than life. You may recognize those lines from America the Beautiful in times of conflict and in times of peace, men and women in the armed forces have stood ready to defend our homeland and to defend the ideals of freedom that lie at the foundation of our union. Whether on the front line, in harm's way, or in supporting roles, these men and women have, and do, step forward to offer their talents and their time time away from family, from friends, from work, from hobbies, to offer their best for their fellow Americans. It is that sacrifice that we honor today. Some of you here are counted among them. Today we express our gratitude to you and to the many Willistonians and Vermonters before you who more than self their country loved. We also express our gratitude to your loved ones who have supported you and who have helped you to make your contributions possible. The freedom that we enjoy today is precious and we must defend it. So now is the time to not only honor those who have fought or are fighting for our freedom, it is also the time for each of us to take part in protecting it. Each of us shares that responsibility. If we want to preserve our freedoms, we must put them into action. For example, by voting in elections, speaking out against injustice, and volunteering in our communities. We must also ensure that everyone, everyone feels the benefits of freedom. Veterans Day is a day for all Americans. It's a day to remember and appreciate why our veterans served and a day for all of us to commit to honor them with our actions, not just our words, by protecting our freedom and the freedom of future generations. Uh, now I would like to welcome Ted Kenny, Rotarian and Chair of the Williston Select Board. So would you, would you please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'm Reverend Paul Iyer, pastor of Wilson Ferry Church with the white steeple just down the street. And in this moment, I invite you to join in a moment of prayer. On this day, O oh God, we honor those who served. In this moment, when the anguished images of war fill the airwaves 
and sadden our very souls. We are grateful, grateful for those who stepped forward with courage and commitment to serve our country. At a time when our nation, and indeed the world, is nearly torn apart by deep division and profound distrust, we give thanks for those who modeled a different way. We offer our gratitude for those men and women whose service and sacrifice pointed the way toward common purpose. Uplifted by their example, may we all aspire to find common ground. Amen. Hi, I'm Phil Stevens, and um, I'm here to talk a little bit about this park and the bricks that are here. A few years ago, Deb Beckett, who was our town clerk and also a fellow Rotarian, started this project to have bricks engraved with the names of veterans and placed in this park. Her idea was to honor veterans and donate any profit to the Rotary Charities Fund to help with Rotary projects. On the way to early passing of Deb, it has become my honor to continue this Rotary project, providing a lasting memory, memorial to veterans. Every member of the armed services deserves our sincere gratitude for their service. No matter how small or insignificant they may think their contribution was or is, it is not without cost to them and their families. Whether they died in battle, or suffered physical or mental damage, or returned home to die early from burn pit exposure or suicide, or simply cannot re-enter society because of their trauma or PTSD, they have given, and we must show our gratitude. If you know of a veteran and wish to have them receive this recognition, I have a flyer on the back table that will tell you the process to be able to uh, include them in this project. I will now read the names of the 41 veterans who are currently recognized by these bricks. Deborah Beckett, John L. Bevins, Sr. Ken Blau, Norman Boyden, Benjamin Brissett, Courtney Brissett, Harold E. Brown, John Burroughs, Stuart Burroughs, Brian Decatur, Lester Durrett, Armand Fournier, Alvin L. Isham, David H. Isham, George E. Isham, Kenneth L. Isham, Roderick C. Isham, Truman R. Isham, Harold Cardamon, Stephen Lebrack, James Leet, Charlie McGill, Jack Martin, James D. McCullough, Kenneth L. Morrison, Sr., Louis V. Nigel, Troy Lee O'Brien, Linwood Osborne, David Raymond Park, David R. Park, Jr., M.D., James R. Paya, Jr., Cecile Phillips, Don Phillips, Alan C. Rock, George D. Rockwood, Maxine Rosenthal, Robert L. Rounds, Kenneth C. Schaeffler, 
Jeff Smarden, Ken Stone, Arthur F. Tuttle. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Jeanne Kennedy, a member of the Williston Richmond Rotary Club. And I'm going to take a little bit of privilege being the first one to start the honor roll that we will be reading to mention a couple other things. I just wanted to remind people that Veterans Day was um, designated a holiday by U.S. President Calvin Coolidge, Vermont's own, in 1926. And some of us remember, some of us here, not all of us, that it was then called Armistice Day. In 1954, under the Eisenhower administration, the name was changed to uh, Veterans Day. And this day, most likely, as Susan so nicely mentioned in her beautiful speech, it touches every single one of us. Because unlike Memorial Day, that honors those killed while serving, and Armed Forces Day that honors those who are currently serving, this day honors every single veteran, and many of us have those in my life, like my son, Patrick, who is a uh, U.S. Army veteran. So thank you for allowing me that bit, and on to the reading of the um, role of the Willistonian veterans we are so proud to remember today. Robert Albert, George Dana Alling, Harold H. Asseltine, James Asseltine, Guy Bates, John Bates, Deborah Beckett, Paul Beggins, William Beggins, Edmund Belair, Edward Belair, Roy Belair, Rainey Berard, Charles M. Brown, Emil Booten, Gerard Booten, Roland Booten, and John A. Bradish. And I'll pass the mic on to the next person. Thank you, Jen. Can you all hear me okay? Hilda, Bruce, sorry. My name is Leslie Murray. I'm with the Williston Richmond Rotary Club. Hilda, Bruce, Margaret, Bruce, Muriel, Bruce, Phyllis, Bruce, Edward, Burnett, James, Burnett, Norman, Burnett, Henry, Campania, Raymond Campania, Howard Casey, Kenneth Charland, William Z. Chisholm, Joseph Christmas, James Cormier, Clifford Cross, Stanley Davis, Robert C. Deal, Curtis Demore. Hi, I'm Reverend Debbie Ingram. I'm also with the Rotary Club. Frank Dow, Eugene Dufresne, Lawrence Forville, Lloyd Fuller, Robert Fuller, Noel Gothier, Paul Gothier, Donald Germain, Donald Goodrich, John Harper, Robert P. Goyette, John Elliot Hawkins, Leroy S. Horton, Dwayne B. Hulbert, Donald Johnson, Ryland Johnson, Clarence Kendrew.
Hello, I'm Barbara LeWinter, and I'm also from the Williston Richmond Rotary. Albert Lacasse, Catherine Lacasse, Clarence Lacasse, Francis Lacasse, Raymond Lacasse, Newell C. Langley, Donald LaRock, Joyce Laro, Walter C. Lasha, Nelson Lefebvre, David Mace, Ruth Mace, Vernon Mace, Vernon R. Mace, Malcolm C. Martell, Arthur Maynard, James McCullough, Clarence J. Merchant. Jude Hersey, I'm also a member of the Willis and Richmond Rotary. It's a great honor to have this service today and to recognize what it takes for families to have someone in the service and not feel like they're recognized, so it's a real honor for us. Harold L. Merchant, Robert C. Merrill, Randolph Miller, Walter Miller, Clement Mongin, Julian Mongin, Leonard Mongin, Irving Mossy, Ashiel Niles, Charles A. Niles, Bernard O'Brien, Julia O'Brien, Marshall O'Brien, Troy O'Brien, Jesse Osborne, Roland Osborne, Frank Pallady Jr., and Harry Paladin. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sally Metro, also a Rotarian. Fred Pollard, Earl E. Picard, Ralph Pillsbury, Jeffrey B. Pollock, Burnett M. D. Rawson, Robert Robert, Emile Roberts, Gerard Roberts, Henry Roberts, Alan C. Rock, Walter Rule, Ernest B. Sadlier, Kenneth Sadlier, Ralph Santor, Anthony Senna, Harold Senna, Julius Senna, Norman Senna. Again, I'm Leslie Murray with the Williston Richmond Rotary Club, and I want to thank you all for being here, especially on this chilly morning. I will be reading the last of the names. Halsey Short Sleeves, Roy Sinclair, Mark Seipel, Melvin Smale, Balu Spalding, Weldon Spalding, Stanley Stanley, Clifford Hardy, Joseph Tardy, Henry Terrier, Clark E. Tulip, Clifford Turner, Carl Urey, John H. Witten, Clarence Wolford, Ira E. Yandow. If anyone in attendance today has names of other veterans, names we have not read, please raise your hand so that we can acknowledge them. And I would like to ask veterans in attendance today to please stand if you can, or if not, if you could just raise your hand so that we can acknowledge you. I am so honored that you're here today. Thank you, and thank you so much for your service. We will never, ever be able to thank you enough.
Thank you, Leslie. Before we conclude this morning, I would like to read a portion of a letter sent to us for this day by Senator Bernie Sanders. Dear friends, each Veterans Day, we pause to honor all those who have put on the uniform to serve our country. Thank you to all the veterans and their families here today, as well as the 38,000 veterans across our state and their families for their bravery and sacrifice. We also are keenly aware of the important work of all the members of the Vermont National Guard who are currently deployed overseas and thank them for their dedication and commitment to our state and nation. We owe all of our veterans and their families a tremendous debt of gratitude, which we will never truly be able to repay. Today and every day, we must recommit ourselves to keeping America's promise to you, just as you kept your promise to us. And if you'd like to read the full text of the letter, there are copies over on the refreshment table um, that you can look at and or take. Now, as we conclude, um, I would like us to observe a moment of silent reflection to honor our veterans. Thank you. I really appreciate everyone coming here today and so happy to see so many of our veterans with us. Um, you've made this a special morning for all of us. Um, please join us for hot coffee. You might need some of that right now. <laughs> um, and some refreshments home baked uh, by members of the Rotary Club. Um, so again, thank you for being here. On Veterans Day, it's important to recognize that one thing among so many others that veterans model for us is the fact that they come together from diverse backgrounds and yet find common purpose and then serve faithfully in pursuit of that purpose. And that's an example that we can all learn from right now. Good day. I'm Norman Pat Boyden. I'm a veteran, uh, served in Vietnam. I served in West Berlin, Germany for two years. I've served as a chaplain for much of my time. I had a guardian angel on my shoulder in Vietnam, and because of that, I've dedicated myself to being a chaplain for veterans. I've served in that capacity since 1990, so many, many years. I've done the ceremony in, in Randolph for Memorial Day many times. And I tell people, um, if you know the story of the cat of nine lives, I'm on my fourth cat. My guardian angel has been there and protected me. There's no good reason that I can honestly tell you that I should be able to talk to you now. I've met death that many times. But I'm here and I'm sharing. So that's it for today. Thank you. <laughs>